see our personal lives and the lives of the constituents we survey we need wisdom to manage our personal lives and the lives of the people we survey but we need the consciousness that we need wisdom to manage the world system so we can look for it and and if the consciousness is not there we don't look for it but when we see that we need it then we look for it see life is full of challenges on how and as a result, we are always confronted with decision making. We need to take decisions to move on, otherwise, we will remain static. As I say, you to me, Fagre, and my YouTube, you call your Nimu Abrabum, and yes, sir, you bet I May I humbly say, my main kind of Brazil, we say that we gathered you here not to teach you how to be chiefs and queens how can i possibly teach or school elder nana pimam pim yao covers the fifth how to be a chief I don't qualify to do that. And I don't qualify to teach you how to be a king or a chief or a queen mother. But we called you here. To remind you that as Christians and royals, our pursuits and priority is to advance the kingdom of God on earth. And that if you and I focus on our calling, and priority by applying the kingdom principles in our spheres Na, we are able to possess the nations that is why we called so we want you to go with a mindset to change your sphere with the wisdom that God gives the topic I want to talk on this morning is give me wisdom give me wisdom Originally, I had wanted to talk on the topic when you have become a king because I thought I would be starting the delivery. But because I'm closing, I've decided to take this topic, give me wisdom. See, apart from our need of God and his word. Our greatest need as humans is wisdom. Wisdom from above. There are all kinds of wisdom. But the wisdom I intend to discuss is the wisdom that God gives. The wisdom from heaven. James chapter 3. Let's read from verse 13 through 18. We will be interacting with a lot of scripture. So get your Bibles close to you and then 
please pay attention. Ye beckin kain ya misemu sempi inti mao uchro kronkron meo na fema wadre emra. So James chapter 3 from verse 13. Ya kubu humaniti miensa efri chemudu miensa eko. Who is wise and understanding amongst you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have a bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Now, such wisdom, and then the wisdom there is in inverted commerce. So, it is wisdom, and it is described as such wisdom does not come from heaven, but earthly, unspiritual, any okra demonic so there is some kind of wisdom that is earthly it is unspiritual that is demonic scripture says that there is a way that seems right to a man but the end thereof is the way of death why is it that the way seems so good to the man? Because it was wrapped in a, a kind of wisdom. But why is it that the end led to death? Because that wisdom is not from heaven. It is demonic. Verse 16. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure. Then peace loving considerate submissive full of mercy and good fruit impartial sincere peace makers who sow in peace reaping harvests of righteousness See, this nation is flooded with all kinds of chieftaincy disputes some are dead for over a decade they have not been buried just because the kind of wisdom that is ruling is not from heaven we need a wisdom from above in managing the affairs of life see our personal lives and the lives of the constituents we survey we need wisdom to manage our personal lives and the lives of the people we survey. But we need the consciousness that we need wisdom to manage the world system so we can look for it now the, if the consciousness is not there we don't look for it but when we see that we need it then we look for it see life is full of challenges or how and as a result, we are always confronted with decision making. We need to take decisions to move on, otherwise, we will remain static. See, decisions could be simple or complex. But 
because challenges comes in weights if he said oh how no ye wo mu in the diswa in the diswa in the diswa some are weightier e bi mu odupa the need for wisdom becomes critical na hia ye hia nya sa no e hu be hia pa when you lead people bra wouldn't grow for kind the leader's decision or can the phone adrian or befano has a ripple effect on the whole constituents he surveys e won sun sun so won nim peso a o di won kind no so you see we have all been elevated to be kings chiefs queen mothers chairman general secretaries to solve tough problems wa pega ye abeye ahenfo ahema agwem treni otrofopeni se yemfa mu ayema ensemo a ano ye den there was a picture of a queen in a palanquin in foni bi wo ho a ohema bi a ote apakan mu now this fellow is elevated sa obe ya pega no but you see you have been elevated to solve difficult problems and so pega ya pega on ya pega o se mu aye be ma ne ma ano ye den to answer tough question would you in way be ma in sembusa emu ye den and meet on common needs na wo be shia ne ahia de a ano ye she you see israel acts for a king israel ma e bisa se wo be nya o hene israel acts for a king and they did so for a reason Israel for Ebisa or Hene. Now, what was sent to Bintia will be Sir or Hene. Now, so let's go and examine why they asked for a king and what they were looking for. Now, young Konyan Koshe, Bintia will be Sir or Hene, and they are not worthy. First Samuel chapter 8. Samuel will make the king 18 or 3. Now, I'll read 19 and 20. Making country Chemu don't crony a duno. But the people refused to listen to Samuel. Now, Omano and Penisa would hear Samuel. No, they said. Now what can I say there be we want a king over us na on hinara na oni yenso then we will be like all the other nations na yenso yenye say amaman na and now let's pay attention na fimu me fa ya dwemra we for king to lead us na yene no imom ni omuye aten and to go out before us and fight our battles na on free edi eni yen anim eni akon emayen so the israel's reason for asking for a king enti israel man dey enti wo bisa say wo pe ohene no was to have someone who will lead them and he said wo be nya obi a obedi won kan go before them obedi won kan and fight their battles na wa kun won kun ama won when we are talking about battles say you can okun a we are talking about conflicts or struggles. Yeah, cap me to me who I say any uh apidi apidi. The conflict within and conflict without. Me to me who I say a wo ye mu any me to me who I say a wo ye nche. The struggles that your natives are facing. Apidi apidi ya wo mind for Asia. So you are made a king. Iti ya ya wo hene. You have been made a queen. Ya ya wo hema to deal with. Your subjects conflicts. Sir, Obeshe na wabde wo wo umaya wudi wankai no enta banta wedi no Obeshe ayama on. And their struggles. Any wong apilisi. In addition to your own battles. I can wanka sa wokuwa wokuhu. It is this huge tax. Na menka se se juma kesi eti se imu. That drove Solomon to ask God for wisdom. Nenuna e Kenya e Solomon maniko bisa nya me se o mani nyansa second chronicles chapter 1 Praise to say mumma e to so me nu from verse 7 please Epe ni che mun so e ko Are we together Yen na na ebo muko If you are here let me see your hand Oh ha pe ja unsa na here So I read from verse seven. That night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, "Ask for whatever you want me to give you." Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon 
said God. You have shown great kindness to David, my father, and have made me king in his place. Now, Lord God, let your promise to my father David be confirmed. For you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me wisdom and knowledge. Now, I want you to pay attention. If you can read, let's read together. Ready, go. Give me wisdom and knowledge. You see the comma? Now, what is it for? Let's read. That I may lead these people. For who is able to govern these great people of yours? So the reason for asking for wisdom and was we, that he would govern God's people. The next verse. God said to Solomon, Since this is your heart desire, and you have not asked for wealth, possession, or honor, nor for the death of your enemies. And since you have not asked for long life, but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I have made you king. Therefore, wisdom and knowledge I will give you. And I will also give you wealth, possessions, and honor. Such as no king who was before you ever had and none after you will have. Now, just to put it in human terms, I will say that the request of Solomon surprised God. Surprise in inverted commas. Because it is unusual. It's not the normal way. Now, sometimes somebody becomes king, and the next week, everyone who is living on the land. If you have bought the land, you have to rebuy it. If we say, "Any idea what I hear?" But today, be obi be ya ohenia. I did change ya. Wa wa to asasi biya wani maimuno. As I say, we say, "Ebediya no turn off from." They came for worth. Wa buya wa pepe ahunya. But leadership is responsibility. Now, so I can't hear a yasudi. Leadership is responsibility. I can't hear a yasudi. Leadership is work. I can't hear a yejuma ye. Leadership is not showmanship. So sometimes when you were king or you were queen, if you don't take care, your, your, your biggest problem will be buying, buying clothes, buying the latest, weave the latest for me, because it's about how you clad yourself in your king to cloth. But leadership is not showmanship. Leadership is not power. to me. Leadership is not worth. Leadership is not fame. It's not to make your enemies fear you. And your friends admire you. These could be privileges that leadership gives. But we don't dwell on that. Leadership is responsibility. Leadership is not to pay back your enemies. You see, the very day I was elected as the chairman, somebody drew me aside and brought 
an apology, a plea from a pastor. Obi ekwe mi jina nchei na odi chao pa obi e jani atu ano e de breme. I was suffering jani atu ano e de breme because of how he has treated me in the past. And I'm crying of how so any metina emre e kim. But I was not put on the seat as a chairman to pay back enemies. Now so yam fami a metina akonya imuse gwem train ise me metu ya matam for eka. But you see, I have been given authority. Now so yam ma metu me and I can pay back enemies. Now metu me metu ya atam for soka. But the authority that I have now so to me ame wano is to build up and he said me bua ni pama not to destroy. Now yes I may be say. Yesu ka yeho my answer again. Oh, shall we rise? Na che ra ya kwa pa. Oh, na ma wa sem pa. That leadership is responsibility. Responsibility is responsibility. That is a combination of two words: response and ability. So when you are made a king, it is a When you are made a chief, say When you are made a queen, say You should have the ability to respond to difficult questions, tough problems, and uncommon needs. I said I was not put on the seat as a chairman. To pay back enemies. Now so, yam fami a metina akonya imuse gwem train ise me metu ya matam for eka. But you see, I have been given authority. Now so, yam ma metu me, and I can pay back enemies. Now metu me metu ya atam for soka. But the authority that I have, now so to me a me wano is to build up. And he said, me bua ni pama not to destroy. Now he said, me be say. Yesu ka yeho my answer is oh shall we rise na che ra ya kwa pa oh na ma wa sem pa
Leadership is responsibility. Responsibility is responsibility. That is a combination of two words response and ability. So when you are made a king, when you are made a chief, when you are made a queen, you should have the ability to respond to difficult questions, tough problems, and uncommon needs. It's not show much. It's not show me how to front We put on cloth. Shall we lift our hands if you can? But you Solomon God gave him wisdom and gave him what he didn't even ask for. First Kings chapter 4. I read from 29. First Kings 4 29. Now the Bible says that God gave Solomon wisdom now, and very great insights. A breath of understanding as measureless as the sun on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom. Now Solomon Yansa was greater than the wisdom of all the people of Egypt and greater than all the wisdom of Egypt put together he was wiser than anyone including Ethan 
Esne Ethan the Ezra Ezra Henini wiser than Heman any Heman Kako any Kako Dada any Dada the sons of Mahor Ah wo ye Mahel Mahno See these names that have been mentioned Sadia Yabuboy they went kings na wo nya henfo they were not priests na wo nya sofo they were not prophets na wo nya difo so this wisdom is not ecclesiastical enti ye no enye asori hu nya nsasa some of them were singers in david's choir e binum na wo ye enyumtofo e wo david enyumtoku but god gave them wisdom na so nya me ma wo nya this morning may the lord grant you the wisdom that we need for more nation every amine people came to listen to solomon's wisdom what by bitie solomon nyansa sent by all the kings of the world who had heard of his wisdom wonga ahin ahin fa what solomon nyansa na asuma wono why do we need wisdom thanks leaders then to na keni for ehia nyansa because wisdom is the principal thing if you say nyansa any de ehia pa wisdom is the principal thing nyansa any de ehia pa um the highest rank of all human desires needs is wisdom say wo shisha shisha puno a de edikan wo ne nipa hia pa mu e nyansa it is the most important thing that we need and only dear e hia kese pa e hia its benefits are most desirable na in fact why was no e do so para nothing you desire can be compared to wisdom bi bi biara ni wa wo hwehwe na wo kra kondo a wo betumi dia toto nyansa ho proverbs chapter 4 mebusem 89 proverbs chapter 4 mebusem 89 shall we read from verse 5 to 30 get wisdom get understanding do not forget my words or turn away from them now look at the next verse do not forsake wisdom for she will protect you now if you need real protection it is it's not to go for an idol or a juju wisdom will protect you and she will watch over you the next verse the beginning of wisdom is this get wisdom though it costs all you have get understanding cherish her sonimu when he say her, he is talking about the wisdom, not God, because God is not referred to as her. It to be cherished him. But once you hear cherish her, then he's talking about the wisdom. And she will exalt you. Now also embrace her, embrace wisdom. And she will honor you. Now, she will give you a gallant of grace. A gallant to grace your head and a, present you with glorious crown. Listen, my son. Accept what I say. The idea is what wisdom says. And the years of your life be many. Now, one can fear adults years of your life will be men. Na won kwa nfie adors. Proverbs chapter 3. Me busem eti miensa from verse 13. E fin chemu du miensa eko. Shall we read together? Blessed are those who find those who gain understanding. In shani oni pa ohun nyansa, eni oni pa onyanti ase e. For she is more profitable than silver. And yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare to her. 
See, when you see wisdom coming, the Bible says that long life is in his right hand. And in his left hand are riches and honor. In the right hand of wisdom is long life. Well, in his left hands are riches and honor. Some people are rich. But they are not honorable. Because of how they gain their wealth. But wisdom will bring you riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways. And all her paths are peace. Na na say na ya sumdwe. Na kwany na. Aye. Aye. Oh, aye. 